we got two cars falling off a leap of depth. Usually we only have one, so how do we end up with two of them? Find out in this video. Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're at Leap of Death and everything looks a little messed up. Oh, who am I kidding? Everything looks really messed up because it's all super dark and super spooky. So what the heck is going on here? Well, a couple updates ago, the textures on the map got broken. And sometimes when a texture is missing, it's very obvious because it'll be bright orange and it'll say missing texture. And then other times it looks like this, where it's just really dark and you don't know exactly what the heck is going on. The good news is it is not very difficult to fix this. But before we do that, I'm going to let this frame go all the way to the bottom because it's not often where you get to see a vehicle driving down broken versions of Leap of Death like this. It does look different than the normal version. No idea where the body ended up at, but that's okay. So there's what the frame looks like. And we're going to bring the truck back up here and fix up Leap of Death. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to do so that you can fix it up as well. First, you hit F11 to open up the map editor. Then you're going to go to the top bar and click Terrain Tools. And then you're going to click Terrain Painter. In this menu, we have all the textures that we need to fix. So first, you double click on Rock to fix Rock. Then we're going to hit Plus so that Rock shows up over here. And we select Rock from this menu. And you need to make sure you do that because most of the time when something doesn't work with the Terrain Painter, it's because I forgot to do that step. Now, we need to fix the broken rock texture. So the first thing we need to do is we need to click the missing texture, and then we need to find the location of this texture. Now luckily for us, for Leap of Death, it's pretty simple. All the textures that we need are in the folder that it automatically pops up. Sometimes it might be more difficult though, where you have to search your computer for the matching file name, and then find it manually using the file browser. So for here, we need to find Overlay01, and that one is located right here. And we're going to do the exact same for all of the missing ones here. So we need overlay rock 05. And then we need to find rock 05-D. And we got to make sure every character is the same on this one. Because 05-D and 05-N are significantly different. And if you choose this wrong, things will look pretty unusual. So once we select all the correct textures, we go ahead and hit apply and select. And just like that, that'll fix all of the textures that are using the rock material. Now we just need to do the same thing for all of these other textures. And the reason I'm showing you this, by the way, is because there are a handful of maps in the game that have black areas just like this, and you fix them all the same way. As I said earlier, though, most of them won't be this easy where you just open up the folder and the file you're looking for is just there, ready to go. They'll probably require a bit more searching, but the general idea is still exactly the same. So I'm going to finish fixing everything up, and I'll be back once it's good to go. Actually, here's one more thing I should mention. Sometimes when you hover over the icon, nothing shows up. In that situation, just don't select anything, and it should work out just fine, because that just means there was no option there previously, so you don't need to change anything. Here we are. Everything is fixed up, and it looks great now. So to save your changes, what you need to do is first save the Train Painter stuff, so you just select this and then do Control S and the text on the bottom disappeared so that means the save worked then we're going to go and save the level as well if everything works the way I expected to we should be able to exit out of here and then reload the level and when we load it up it'll look good and there we go we load it back up and everything looks exactly like it should so if you follow the steps exactly as I shown you should have it where you have a fully functional leap of death and you should be able to use the same exact process on other maps as well. And since we're already on the map, we might as well do some leaps of deathesses. Yes, that is how you say plural leap of deaths. Leaps of deathesses. This first one, nothing special. We're just jumping off the side a little bit. The next ones, we'll be doing some unusual things that we normally wouldn't do. For now though, let's just enjoy this truck falling all the way to the bottom. I'm assuming eventually, there is half of what I was about to say, eventually, the frame and the body will completely separate right now. Oh, it actually held on a little bit. Quite surprising, but now they'll separate. And now we have just the frame, which looks like it'll make it all the way into the water. Oh, it's got a little bit of a jump and then splash into the water. My question for you guys now is, have you ever seen a leap of death flight when it was at nighttime? 
If you answer no to that, you're going to be answering yes in about 30 seconds. So I'll make it nighttime, and we got the hopper with the big lights on it to try to light up as much as we possibly can. But even with the big lights, I don't think we're going to really be able to see what's happening, but we got to try it out to figure out for myself. With the lights on, perfectly intact, it's okay, we can see things. You know, the funny thing is, is now that I made it nighttime again, everything's black. I go through all the trouble to fix it, and then I make it look broken. How ironic is that? Now, with it being so dark, you really can't see what's going on. Every now and then, you'll see something like, hey, look, there's the frame of the vehicle, just barely a different color than the mountains that are way off in the distance. The Leap of Death definitely works better during the daytime, although it does look cool when you get to see the fire flying through the air, actually. That I did not expect. I didn't plan to let this vehicle fall all the way, but the fire is changing my mind. And we can just barely make out the water. We're going to hit it in about three, two, one, and there goes my fire. All right, so I like seeing things. I don't know about you guys, but I really like seeing things. So we're going to go ahead and make it daytime once more so we can see. And then we can bring the vehicle back up to the top. And this time, we're just going to see how far can we fly. Because we're going to get the hero version of the bus and try to fly as far as we possibly can. And one nice thing about the update is the bus doesn't get stuck in the wall when you spawn it up. All right, here we go. Big air. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Let me try that again. Hold on a second. Did the engine just get caught on the ramp or something? Let's see here. Slow motion going. Everything's looking good. The rear bumper's scraping. And oh, wow. It really just grabs the bus. That is strange. Well, okay. The good news is, is I do have a workaround for this. Instead of going straight off the ramp, we're going to hit it at an angle. And hopefully that'll pop the bus up. And perfect. We still got some air from the ramp but we didn't get stuck. And I'm using the thrusters as much as I possibly can, but we gotta let up now because if I use the thrusters now, it'll push us back towards the mountain. I'm trying to do a hole in one basically, straight into the water, and this is looking pretty good actually. I like this flight. Out of thrusters and hole in one, really right near the center. That was an absolutely perfect run. Okay, now we're gonna do something dumb. We're going to get the ball, and we're going to roll the ball down the hill and see if it'll fly off a leap of death. So here we go. Nice and easy. I have no control over it, so if it doesn't make it to the ramp, well, I tried. It looks like it's going to make it. Oh, no, it's going to the left too much. Come on, ball. Stay straight. Wait, if it gets to the ramp, it probably won't fall off. Yeah, it's losing so much speed. It's a good thing it didn't try to make it to the ramp. All right, now we're talking. See, this is what leap of death was truly made for you know what they actually should have they should have a marble run map where it's just letting the ball roll down and getting all the way to the bottom i would play that map once maybe even multiple times if we could spot up the ball with different colors and you could have like an actual marble race sure why not ooh, 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 ooh. come on come on yes no that's as far as the ball can go I expect it to go a lot farther than that. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for the ball. So here's another fun fact about Leap of Death. The AI does actually work somewhat on the road that goes around the whole map. So to demonstrate this, we got two really nice cars that should be able to do that terrain. We make sure we line them up in the correct orientation and we tell them to go on a random path and they should just follow the trail just like that. Although, I can't actually see them driving the trail because they went so fast and I had to do a little maneuver there. Whoa! Okay, they are officially better than me at doing this because I am all over the place. Somehow, I managed to get back on the road, though, and you know what? I take that back. I am the superior driver because I didn't flip over and they did. What are they doing? Oh no, the AI's pathfinding is telling it to go back up the hill instead of continue driving. No, 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 AI, AI. Let me give you a little hand here because you're being unbelievably stupid. Look at this. If you go forward just a little bit instead of literally climbing a steep old mountain, you can keep on driving. Isn't that nifty? So back to my car and it seems like they can keep driving. So the fight is still on it. Who is better at going down leap of death? Me? or the AI. I'm going to try to keep up with them to the best of my abilities. And after seeing them roll over, 
I expect them to fall off at almost any corner because they just got airborne there. That's actually one thing that's kind of helpful. If I see them get airborne, I know that I'll probably get airborne too, so I should slow down. Oh, uh, there's no way they're going to make it through here. They go a little too far to the left, they fall off the mountain. They go too far to the right, they climb up the mountain, roll over, then fall off the mountain. Either way, it's fall off the mountain or not. Wow. And they weren't going slow. They were actually going at a decent speed because I feel like I actually have to drive a bit to keep up with them. AI, you started stupid, but once you damaged your car, you learned your lesson, huh? Now you're going to take your time and not flip over. Wow. Oh, we got a downhill here, right? Yes. How are they going to manage that? Oh, wow. Surprisingly well-ish. Nope. They're gone. They're done. They're just going to roll over onto the road and go way faster than me. I got to drive fast to catch up to them. Oh, wait. Nope. Never mind. They're being dumb again. Trying to climb the mountain instead of just driving along. AI, come on. I just taught you what you do when you fall off of the road. You line yourself back up. And then you keep driving. And they can keep driving somehow. They've fallen off of two pretty steep hills, smashed their car, rolled over, and then they have the guts to keep on going. The one thing they have earned is my respect, and oh no, <laughs> we both overshot that corner a bit. Hey, don't hit me. Oh, I'm the leader now. I gotta give them and pass me back up. And now we can go back to following them. Okay. Oh, there, there's no way. They are bouncing so much. They're gone. I just saw them fly off the mountain. Here, let me try to fall off the mountain too. We'll fall together, my friend. Wait, they did fall off, didn't they? Oh, I see them. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought they tricked me. And I jumped off all on my own. And I was going to look like a big, fat idiot. Even though I'm the one calling them an idiot the whole time. Well, we'll go ahead and see. How far down Leap of Death can these cars go? Let's check on them. See what they're doing. Oh, wow, they got lucky. They fell into the easy pond, so they actually get a car that was still working, probably, to some extent. My car, on the other hand, it fell quite a bit farther, I think, and it doesn't work at all. All right, I have one final idea I want to test, so for this, we're going to stop the AI, bring them up here with me, and then we're going to tell the AI to go ahead and try to chase me, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very edge of the jump, and I want them to push me off of it. And they should be coming at any... What? Where... Where did they... <laughs> you idiot. How did you fall off of Leap of Death? Oh my goodness, you just drive right off the edge. You really are dumb enough just to do that, huh? Well, AI, I have a solution. We're going to stop. We're going to line you up in the correct direction. And then we're going to get the AI to go ahead and chase me. Oh no, I've made a mistake. I put the AI to chase me, and that car chased me right off the edge. Okay, so AI stop again. We're going to bring this car back up to the top of the cliff. Then we tell the AI to chase this car. Okay, and now ideally, what's going to happen is they're going to push us both off of the edge, and we'll fall together. Yes, it worked. And now's a good time to mention, if I did that dumb thing where I put a random clip at the start of the video, I'd be like, we got two cars falling off a leap of death. Usually we only have one, so how do we end up with two of them? Find out in this video. And then also, this is going to be the end of the video. I put that in at the very last second because I forgot to do it anywhere else. So until next time, this has been YBR. And remember, if you like or dislike this video, I will know. I can tell by how glitched out the textures are and how difficult it is to fix them. So do the right thing, and I'll see you next time. And we were supposed to have it where I see it next time happens right as they hit the water, but it's falling slower than I expected. You need to get into that water right now. Okay, okay, and there. I'll see you next time. Hey, wait, what's the other AI doing? I wonder if he's in the water. Oh, he's not. Get in the water. Okay, now I'll see you next time.